What is up, survivors? We are back with another mod review. For today's mod review, we're going to be talking about the Exomech Mark II. This is a pretty sweet one, pretty fun, with a whole lot of promise added to it. So let's get right into it. The Exomech II Mark II is essentially a new Exomech. Obviously, we can tell it looks pretty much the same. Slight color difference. That's pretty much it. This Exomech can be made unlocked the same level the normal exomech is it's just the exomech mark ii you make it the same way it places down on the ground the same way all of those things still work the same way this guy has a lot of cool abilities so here we have the regular mech and you guys should be familiar with this one if you're not with gen 2 it's a combat mech it, it's not really a combat mech it's actually more of a utility mech i think in comparison to the mechs that we have seen um you have a combat mode where you can you know punch things you have a carry mode that you can pick things up and put them down uh, like I can walk up to this vault, pick this guy up and place it somewhere else if I want to. Uh, we have a storage mode where I can transfer items from one storage container to somewhere else if I want to. Like I said, the combat mode. And then obviously we have the RTS mode, which allows me to move dinos around stuff, much like an RTS game, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving over and hopping out of this, it does require element to run. And while you have stuff inside of it, it can be used to craft a great big deal of things, sort of like a fabricator, if you will. But then it can all, yeah, it's basically like a fabricator. That's pretty much it. This is essentially what we're looking at of this. It can craft some tech stuff. It's kind of limited as to what it can seem to make and what it can't. And well, you know what? Maybe this is more like a, yeah, okay. It actually does what, what a tech replicator would do. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Anywho, so essentially you can craft what you could craft out of a replicator. This guy, on the other hand, is hilarious. So we get all the same abilities. You get the jump ability, you get the combat mode punch, you get the stomp, you get the uh, you get the carry mode here, the storage modes here, the RTS modes here, all of that is here. Uh, right off the get-go though, this guy does a whole lot more crafting. This stuff, cra it can craft uh, kibble from cooking pots, it can craft, it can grind stuff down. If you wanna grind stuff down, that's a possibility as well. It can make the stuff that the chemistry bench can make for you. This is a one-top shop for all of your crafting needs, period. Crafts everything. Pretty awesome. Can even forge metal for you if you wanted to forge metal. Pretty hilarious. But the other thing that you're going to need to make when you have this guy is in these Exo Mech Mark II folder in modules combat mode. You'll need crystal, electronics, element, metal, and polymer to make these guys. You make them on your person. You only need to make one. Essentially, you'll take that put it in the inventory of the mech and then install it in the mech. And what that does is unlock extra abilities on top of what the current extra mech currently does. What this does, if you're inside of this guy and hold in R, you pull up a couple of different modes, but essentially a radio menu that you get to pick from. Now, some of these are going to be enabled in the future, but not yet. But so for right now, what we have is these combat modes. We have the assault mode, subdue mode and harvest mode. And this only works when you're in the combat mode, obviously. Assault mode changes my physical damage. Um, and let's jump over here and just find something. Let's go. Um, well, actually, you know what? Let's turn it off first so we can get an idea of default mode. Let's go back to default. Let's hit something. So hitting that Rhino does about 180. Now, obviously, I have some admin commands on to make this a little bit easier. And then we hit assault mode and go back in. This should do about 300, 360. The double damage, which is pretty funny. Double damage off the sky when you're in assault mode. You will consume more. You'll consume more element when you're running this guy. It consumes element, I believe, at about five times the rate. So, if you're running a heavy melee on this guy, it is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you later on. You're gonna go through some elements. So make sure you have a decent amount of that. Toggling over to the subdue mode. The subdue mode does like maybe three or four damage. Basically, it's meant to do. Uh, torpor damage and that's all it's made to do is knock out creatures for you so it does heavy torpor damage now it also does a high it's a small chance and you saw the notification pop up of it doing the gut punch the gut punch drains food energy like energy consumption rate so this would work on like other creatures things with a stamina button basically decreases their stamina usage when you do that with them too so making this good against other players in like a pvp style setting as well but you can pretty much uh, obviously the torpor is pretty good and as you can see i'm doing little to no damage the gut punch thing is completely random of when it would work and when it don't and uh yeah we can just knock out whatever we want which is pretty hilarious um making this pretty useful but we're not done yet we can toggle back over to the harvest mode 
The harvest mode is going to be able to harvest trees, thatch. It's going to be able to harvest rocks, either with the primary attack or with the, you know, that C attack, that stomp. Um, or not stomp, but that smash, rather. I haven't really seen anything that this thing doesn't harvest with the exception of, like, berries. Like, it won't harvest berries or, that, or like, fiber or anything. It's not going to pick up that stuff. But just about anything that normally, like, wood, thatch, minerals, all that good stuff, it's going to, it's going to be able to pick up and uh, use all those. Now, there are a whole lot of other features that are coming down the pipe for this, which is what I'm really excited about, but I really did want to talk about this one now. I didn't really want to waste too much time. Um, other thing to notice is when you're in with the combat mode, the assault mode and the um, harvest mode do deal damage to like uh, element nodes and stuff like that in, in extinction, like those OSD drops. So they are useful in there too. They can harvest that stuff for you. Um, a couple of utilities. This does have an oxygen uh, tank on it and we'll jump out in the water and show you. What it'll do is slowly replenish its oxygen and then when you're underwater, it'll slowly go down. So you do essentially have a pretty limitless uh, length of time you can be underwater. And up in the top right, you can see the oxygen tank slowly start to degrade down from 5,000 down. Um, but once you get out of the water and you still have all the crazy super jumps that the normal Mac does, once you get out of the water, it'll start to charge that oxygen back up on its own so you don't have to worry about it. Another key thing to note is that while it does, it has a 20,000 carry weight and a 10,000 health, I believe the stock mech only has a 2,000 health starting point. I'm really high up. That was not... Oh, 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 oh man. Okay, uh, take two. Wow, that was embarrassing. All right, that took a minute or two. Anyway... Man, let's run out of here. So as we can see, we have a 10,000 health and a 20,000 carry weight on the XMEC Mark II. And the Mark I still has a good health, still has the carry weight, but only has 2,000 health. So you get a lot more health out of the Mark II. That is the current features that this guy possesses, which is pretty awesome in and of itself. At least I think so anyway. However, there are a bunch that are coming down the pipe. Apparently, you're going to be able to use this thing as a water tap. This is a function that's going to be in the future. Um, it's going to incorporate some medical systems, which I think is pretty cool. Um, like I said, the infinite oxygen part is removed. Like You don't have infinite oxygen like you would with a regular mech. It just has it slowly degrades down, which I actually kind of like, to be honest with you. Um, there are supposed to be some power things added to this, like maybe possible solar power or hydrogen power. Um, which I find that a little interesting. Maybe it won't run off an element and you can get it to run off of other things or maybe it could run off those other things, but it's just not as efficient when it does. This is a pretty cool alternative and I think it makes it a little bit better. Um, I like the Exo mech in Genesis 2 when it came down, but it felt like, uh, with the exception of doing some menial stuff around your base, it wasn't really that great. It felt to me like there was plenty of other stuff that I would rather use over the XMAC, which stunk because I really liked the way that it looked and it was a fun little addition and kind of a good um, jump between the mech that we saw out of Extinction. Um, I kind of like having that little middle ground there. All in all, huge fan. I think this is awesome and I'm really super excited to see if this changes down the road to see if we get some more additions in here. But uh, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy with it so far. pretty happy with it so far and as you can see the size is exactly the same little literally a color difference but that could have been random when i spawned it in i don't know when i dropped it or, or built it and placed it it could have been that i'm not sure you can change the fuel and energy rates while it's idle or when it's running via config and we will have a as always we'll have a link to the steam workshop page in the description of the video so you guys can check that out when you have the time as well but that ladies and gents is pretty much it the action mech mark ii kind of a smaller mod again but this is another one that i really jumped out at me because like i said i enjoyed the exo mech out of genesis 2 but i felt like it was a little lackluster something like this uh, at the surface seemed a little OP, but honestly, I really like it. I think it's really fun and a really cool addition to the Genesis 2 or really any environment where you're using tech things. I would highly recommend this one. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll have a link to the Steam Workshop in the description of the video so you guys can go check that mod out. As always, I will see you all on the next one.